Ah, you smell that? That scent in the air? That's love, ladies and gentlemen. Love is in the air, not just in our world, but on Azeroth as well. But while many know the origins of our Valentine's Day, not many know the reason for the season in WoW. Why do the denizens of Azeroth celebrate love is in the air? Better yet, what exactly is love is in the air? Well, love is in the air, I've said that a lot, is an event created by the Crown Chemical Co., a company based out of Silver Pine and is unaffiliated with the Steam Whittle Cartel, who are, you could say they are the masterminds behind many of the holidays on Azeroth. Originally, the event would only last four days in February, but was then expanded upon by the devs to two full weeks. While there isn't much of a lore reason on why that is, you could say that it was expanded upon due to the amount of profit that could be accumulated from the event, that and the fact that the city distributors are goblins, and you know, goblins, money, you, you get the picture. Now for this two week holiday, love is the main reason for the season. You'd give people you care for a charm or a gift or a small goblin cupid, anything to make your loved ones and your leaders happy. Love is in the air. After all, it is in the air, it is in the ground, and it is all around us, literally. <laughs> Remember when I said the holiday was created by one Crown Chemical Co? Well, by doing the main questline for the event, we learned that the Chemical Co is literally putting harmful chemicals in their perfumes and their colognes, which we help distribute daily. Due to the wide distribution of their products, and because they are unaffiliated with the Steam Widow Cartel, the group has hired Inspector Snip Snagglebolt to investigate the company. Now, he enlists our help because... Of course he does, and the first thing we uncover is that the perfumes given out to the people include a mind-affecting toxin, and after another quest we discover that this toxin is essentially a love potion, whereby whoever takes in the chemical will fall in love with the first person they see, which is why when you're sprayed with the perfume, standing around in Stormwind or something like that, you get a little heart over your head. You're in love, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> now, continuing. With the quest line, we eventually make it to the home base of the Crown Chemical Co., where we learn that they are mass producing this toxin and that the chemists who are doing it were actually once a part of the Forsaken's Royal Apothecary Society, based on what their leader tells us. And as we know, the once Royal Apothecary Society is well known for developing and unleashing their new plague on numerous parts of the world, with the most notable being the Wrathgate. That being said, it isn't too far-fetched to say that killing their chemists and their leaders isn't the most inhumane thing to do. Plus, they drop a pretty sweet rocket that seems to drop for everyone, except for me. But that is it. That is Love is in the Air. A holiday created by the people who developed a super weapon under the noses of everyone. So when I say you shouldn't celebrate this holiday, I mean it. Celebrating this holiday is celebrating the new plague. If you have any questions, comments or concerns regarding this video wow or its lore you can leave them in the comment section down below and i'll be sure to read each and every one of them thanks for watching